Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about internships. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I remember you saying that internships are viewed as something lower than real world experience. What would you say is better, real world, ex world experience in something not as relevant in software development such as system administrative work, QA work, tech support, SQL development, or relevant experiences from internships such as in Java, .NET, React, JS and so on, if one's goal is to become a software developer. So if I understand your question in essence correctly here, you're asking me about real world experience doing something adjacent to what a software de developer does versus having an internship as a software developer. So this is pretty much impossible for me to answer because the the reality is that every company that you will talk to will have their own value system. Now, when I've said, and I will continue saying so, that an internship is viewed as lower value than real world, world experience, it is from the perspective of practically every single company under the sun that if you have been doing something as a full-time employee, that is better than you being an intern like the that's the difference right the internship is only perceived as being lower value because it is viewed as something less serious or it's an indicator that you have progressed uh, you haven't progressed as far in your career as they would like to see because interns are as i said it's just a perception they're just perceived as being lower value but here's the kicker about that that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you are better or worse. If you are an extraordinarily good intern working in a very well-adjusted, well-functioning company or anything remotely resembling real-world experience, and you go up against someone who has real-life, world, real work experience as, I don't know, something that is subpar to what most companies are hiring. So let's say for the sake of argument that you have real-world developer experience as a freelance WordPress developer that is worth like almost nothing in uh, for most companies that is like they, they, yes you have wor you have life experience and you have ex uh, professional grade software developer experience but you don't really have relevant experience if that makes sense because that's the, at the end of the day guys this is the thing that is important if you only take away one thing it is that the companies do not care what you call yourself they do not care what you have been doing they care that you can do the thing that they want you to do and that is the thing that you're trying to sell to them so it doesn't matter if you feel that you are a professional if you're doing something as i was saying if you're a wordpress developer that doesn't matter to a company who uses java Sure, it might be relevant for you to state something about it, but an intern who knows the Java platform is going to most, unless you are, as I was saying, that's the thing we're going to touch on, unless you are really, really good, the intern is going to be more relevant. And that's why it's impossible for me to say if one of these things, like what's going to be more important, because every company is going to view the thing differently. What I can tell you is that if I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess and say something like, well, an internship doing actual development once again it's about the quality if you have been getting coffee for everybody as an intern you're still not worth anything it, but if you've been working and doing something serious so you actually get skills that you can use and actually produce something that's going to be relevant so if you look at someone who's doing say tech support or sql development i don't even on like a, i i know for a fact that there are still sql developers but they are like they are a dying breed like if in most of the industry I would say and tech support well that may not actually have anything to do with software development so I would say that your internship is most likely going to be more relevant in that scenario I don't I can't imagine a reasonable company who I mean if you are like a gifted tech support person who really understands this programming thing is just naturally gifted because I've, guys I've seen guys who I've seen people who have been journalists 
and gone into software development and they kind of just got it immediately and they were really gifted and like the, that that then they're off to the races and they kind of start doing that thing but for most companies i would suspect that being a tech support person or an sql developer sure you will use sql with some type of database but that's like a pretty far leap from having all the relevant skills that you could need in order to do professional grade software development if you're a system administrator or a QA person that might be more relevant in some scenarios than an internship or having internship responsibilities or experience because I mean a system admin depending on how good you are or how much or how far you've progressed in that role you might actually already be semi-familiar with coding and infrastructure and all the surrounding issues that come with software development. QA work, well if all you've done is sit and click on an application and not really done anything in terms of say automation, well then you may not be so relevant but if you've been doing automation work and you've actually been exposed to coding as part of your QA work, well then that is relevant because at the, as I said at the end of the day guys it really comes down to this thing. The real live work experience that the, th that the companies are looking for is really just about them feeling confident in that you can handle the job that they're going to hire you to do. And that is usually whatever stack they're using. Regardless of what you've been doing before, what, regardless how good or bad you think you are, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, they're trying to fill a need and that need is usually best solved by getting someone who has been doing the thing that they want someone to do for real not as an intern not as a side thing or something like that someone who really knows that stuff and the second best thing is of course to find someone who has been sort of doing the thing either as an intern or as a side part of whatever they're doing as their main profession i'll give you an, I, can, I can give you an example from my own life uh, i work with kubernetes when i in my daily job but I'm not a DevOps engineer I'm not an infrastructure expert or anything like that so if a company asks me well Frederick we we're looking for someone who knows Kubernetes so then I have to ask them how much of Kubernetes like how much of experience experience are you expecting from me because I mean I have a lot of experience in all of this stuff over here but if you're looking for someone to I don't know take the reins and be like the main person in your company for Kubernetes then I'm not that guy if you're on the other hand looking for someone who can do the job and pick up the things that I could depending on what my level is and what their expectations are I can probably learn the thing that they want me to learn in a very short amount of time so the fact that I've been doing it a little bit or as as not as my main focus but as something as part of my job is valuable to the company the, I hope that that is the thing that you understand like it's really just about that thing to to get as close as possible to be that person who's been doing the thing they really need you to do for real so what I want you to take away from this is that it's impossible to say if an internship is more valuable than some other supporting role to software development. Ideally, the thing that you go are going for is to have real-world ex professional-grade software experience within the stack that the company is using, if at all possible. And the second thing is, best thing is, of course, to have something that is as close as possible to that thing and sure if we take these concrete examples being tech support or an SQL developer well that's depending on the way that you work with that th these things you may have absolutely no skills whatsoever in software development so it may be more relevant for you to take an internship but on the other hand if you're a system admin or QA well those roles depending on how you practice those roles and how you're actually doing your job you might actually have coding experience not made necessarily in the thing that the company is looking for but it is coding experience and as I've said before a lot of coding related things and IT skills they transition into a different role and as with myself and every other developer under the sun there are some things that we do a lot we focus on that that's our main thing and some things we do a little bit as part of whatever we're doing and if you want to transition into something that may not be the exact thing that you've been doing well if you're going to be able to transition or not or and how valuable you're going to be to the next to the next employer is going to come down to well how close are you to the thing that they're looking for 
That's that's what, what all of this is about. And the closer you can get to the thing, regardless of if it means that you're an intern or if you did something as part of a job, that's the thing that's going to dictate if they feel comfortable hiring you or not. Have a great day.